Hello. Uh, this is a video for my buddy, buddy Trevor, who wanted to start painting cars on iRacing, and he didn't know how to do it. A couple of things. So he asked for my help. So just to show him a couple of things on how to remove some unwanted pixels that you might get with when you paint on top of the iRacing traditional layers. So this is for him to figure out how to do it. I normally use Photoshop, as you guys can see. He uses GIMP. So it's going to be up to him to figure out how to transition this to GIMP. Okay. So here we go. This is a standard metallic layer that you can find inside of the forums for iRacing. So if you go here to the right side of the screen, you'll see all of the traditional layers that you get from the iRacing templates, right? The parts, patterns, all of it that you can find pretty easy, pretty normal if you ever try to paint a car. Cool? All right. So you can see that I have a bunch of different layers here, including the metallic layers that you can open it up and you can select and you can play around with the opacity here and the fill. So depending depending on how much you apply, you can see that the color changes. If you put a, a little bit less, they change following that thing. Same thing with the flake. You can have a hundred, you can have whatever. You can play with all of the other ones. But what he wanted to know is whenever he's using one of these templates from iRacing, right? So the the most basic ones, the ones that have more different shapes and the whole thing. How sometimes when he paint on top of this, you'll get some pixelation. You can have some extra colors that were not painted or some pixels that were not selected. And they will look weird whenever you're trying to put the paint together, right? Because you have some extra colors that you didn't want. So just to show him how this actually work and how to do it in an easier way, or at least how I do it, and I don't get those pixelations. He want, he was using this template, and I'm going to use the same one that he was trying to use, just as a reference point. So if I deselect everything, this is our base, base paint, right? It's all blue, all easy to see, all easy to spot, right? And as I was explaining to him, every time that you think about an iRacing painting job, you can never think about creating an image on top of one basic layer. So you have this layer here. And I can never do a painting or just trying to come up with colors on top of one canvas and then just trying to manually select a very small paint and trying to go on top of it on the side and trying to come up with very corrective, the whole thing, because this is not going to work. You, you cannot operate under those circumstances, right? What you have to think about, how you have to think about, just how this thing is set up on the layered type of base, that you have multiple layers on top of each other, right? That's how you need to create your paint. This is how you need to be able to think about that whenever you're looking from above, you can have five, six, seven, eight, nine different layers on top of it that when they are pressed together and you're looking through the top, you're going to see all of them through one shot. That's how you need to think about it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how, how this looks uh, when, when you think about that and how you're applying. So coming back and selecting the layer that he was using. This is, again, iRacing basic template that you can get from the iRacing uh, customizing cars that tab and you have every car you can like download the, the official template right he was trying to paint this different colors right they have like a light blue where the red is a darker blue where the green is and do a white line where this blue line is following the following the car right but he couldn't do it he couldn't get it to work correctly he would get like still leftover greens leftover reds the whole thing so for, get, for him to be able to see it, right? Once again, our base paint is blue. But that's not the one that he wants. He wants a different shade of blue. Not this one darker. He wants a different dark blue, okay? 
So we're going to select, if we use the magic wand here on Trading Paints, on Photoshop, sorry, pretty sure you can have the same type of uh, tool when you're working with GIMP. And I can select multiple parts of this paint, everything that is green. I can go in and select, okay? So just selecting everything that is green. There are other ways to do this. There's a faster way to do it, but just so it's easier for everybody to see, right? So when 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 I zoom in, you can see that the things are blinking, right? There is a the selection. I can pretty much see it all around. See, they're blinking, so these areas were selected. So. The easiest way for me to do this, if I if I go back here to the right to the layer, I can deselect this layer, and I'll have exactly showing on top of my base paint everything that was selected. Right? They're like holding in the air. They're not setting on top of any layers, they're just marked. If I go down and on top of my base I select, I create a brand new layer, a new layer. Okay. You can see that this layer has absolutely nothing. It's completely blank. There's nothing on it. What I can do then, because everything is selected, I can go in and select a different shade of the blue that he wanted, get my paint, uh, my, my, my paintbrush or whatever it is, right, and just paint on top of those selected areas. I don't have to worry about anything else. Only those selected areas that I did are going to be painted. Right? So you can see the difference in color once I do that. Right? Because I am creating a completely different layer, a completely new one, only those areas are going to be selected. And, I'm do and because I don't have any other color on the background, those are the only colors that are going to show up. Okay? So when I deselect everything, you can see that in between the my base and the new one, for instance here, there are no other colors. All that potential green, potential blue, potential red that you had on the base scheme from iRacing, they disappear. They are not brought in. You're pretty much painting a brand new thing using the selected areas that you did, right? Oh, all right, Lisa, I want to do the same thing. Cool. So you go back and I have more areas to paint. I have now everything that was red, right? So once again, I select the layer here. And because the red is the main layer on this thing, when I click on whatever is red, he's going to select automatically all the red uh, on the template. And I just do the same thing. Because it was selected, the select this one, go all the way to the bottom, create a new one. New layer. So I had one as my base, one as the blue, and I have a brand new one. He wanted a lighter blue to be on top. Right? So just as an example, I'm going to get a very, very light blue. So here we go. Brand new layer. And you can just paint on top. Everything that was red that was selected, you can just paint it on top of everything. Okay? The entire template. Boom. Right? Actually, this color was hideous. All right. Oh, there you go. Much better. Light blue. Very light blue. It's uh, kind of green. Blah, blah, blah. Also kind of green. Yeah. Uh, yuck. All right, whatever. Oh, here we go. Baby blue. There you go. All right? When I deselect everything, boom. Once again, if I go in, no extra pixels. See? Everything exactly the colors that were supposed to be. No add-ons, nothing. I'm missing one. I'm missing the the white stripes that he wanted, where those these blue ones are, 
right? you can see the you can see the blue ones he wanted those white so I just make sure that I go very close select the blue ones blue one blue one blue one and last but not least another blue one right so those were the final ones same thing go back create a brand new one and just to be easy for him to see right here we go the Y lines that he wanted to make the that particular layer and here we go no extra pixels nothing you can have you're gonna have a couple just because but nothing that will pop as green as blue as white or from that will carry from the original template All right so you can do that with whatever part from the original template that you have right so if I wanted now on top of those things create another layer based on another uh, eye racing template that has nothing to do with the one that I was working but just because I want to do something different right I can select other areas go in create a new layer and paint it a completely different color right Or just to here you go dark red and I can keep playing around until I get whatever it is that I want to show as my base paint okay so for everybody that wanted to learn how to do this pretty easy is just trial and error try and error uh, until you really uh, get good on just selecting everything applying figuring out what you want to do but that's normally the easiest way cool hope it helps and see you guys on the track.